hey Jesse, you just finished an Italian food tour, but can you shoot? Can you fit in a final course of juicy bits? Uh, I can always fit in a final course of juicy bits for you, Reese. There's always room. There's always room for for, for your juicy bits. I gotta stop this. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't go down that road. Canadian politics is boring. Juicy bits. Hello, my name is Reese Waters, and with me is Jesse Harley, who is in Venice, I believe. Right that now? is correct. And the fog has rolled in after Carnival, and it is creepy and majestic and fucking freezing cold. <laughs> it's really, really cold here. But so, uh, uh, it's uh, amazing. That it's just every corner is like a fog-lit sort of magical Harry Potter alleyway. It's incredible. And I, I hope just you didn't a... get mugged. Thanks. <laughs> I just did a food tour, which was really fun. And you go around and you sip some wine and you have charcuterie boards and different chocolates and met some other Canadians that were here on a, on a trip. And it's been fun. It's really great. So. It sounds like you're having a horrible time. Just awful. Every time I You're going to be in therapy talking about this for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My therapist will be asking me what it was like. I'll be giving them therapy. I see photos all the time of Nova Scotia like covered in like snowstorms and blizzards, and I just giggle. So, even though it's kind yeah, of freezing it's, here. It's kind of like um, everything's... So that it snowed. They didn't really clear up. They just moved it a bit, and then it froze solid, and then it snowed even more. Um, and then they piled that on top of the other stuff. And I think it's going to be here probably till about June. Do you, want, I, do, you, do you want to do a content? Let's do a content, Reese. Give me a juicy bit. Okay. There's a story I think you might have missed going on in Canada at the moment. Um, have, have you ever heard of the artist Christopher Lamb? I have not. We're kind of a small-scale artist. He's got like an Etsy store. But he specializes in, it specializes in redesigning uh recognizable logos and brands and then put in like a, a bit of a twist on them just to poke fun at the at the organization um so he's done one which is kind of like no frills you know the superstore no frills brand yep it's like a nice yellow t-shirt but in that font it says no shame instead of no frills <laughs> i've um, seen that i think <laughs> he's got another he's got another one which is like the rogers logo but it just says robbers um, that's instead. accurate that's very accurate. And my, my, what, one of my favorite ones is the Grand Theft Ontario t-shirt. And it's like a Grand Theft Auto um, mishmash of kind of like, you know, the kind of different like cartoonized characters with like uh, uh, Doug Ford and everybody on there of, of Ontario. But the reason we're talking about him is because he created a new shirt called Rob Laws. Okay. And, it, and the tagline is basically a spinoff of the Lob Laws logo. Um, which, uh, but instead of the, he's kind of changed the logo a bit. So it's a gun and a shopping basket. Um, and their, 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 their slogan is live life well, and he's changed it to live life hungry instead, (laughs) which isn't a big deal. Like you see these, you see these funny shirts all the time. That's very funny. I like that a lot. Yeah. I I think, I think it's, it's very, I'm I'm charging, I'm charging my phone and it stopped charging. I have to blow into where the microphone is. I'm sorry in advance, everybody. So this is going to be a, that was a low point in podcasting. Um, I have the, one of the worst moments in podcasting. Ever. I went from a real high point in podcasting. I think we, we had a guest with a, um, an, uh, an American sign language translator on a, on an episode today. I've gone from that to you blowing into the phone while I listen. <laughs> I mean, you, you didn't have to listen. I told you it was coming. <laughs> Well, I, I oh, and you had a on. sign language interpreter on a podcast. Yeah, we had a deaf guest, and they they they, they translated and communicated. With oh, it. I don't know if it's been I thought it was translating before. for people watching the podcast, which is an audio no, no, no. Medium. It was purely okay. audio, but it was it allowed a deaf person to participate in a podcast. I was like, that's amazing, this is great. It's like that's this is going to be a high point. <laughs> and then followed by me, and then and then and then, it, and then a few hours later. I'm sat in a dark room <laughs> while you blow into your phone stood in the fog in Venice. I just know how much you like it, Reese. That's why I really why I do it for you. Yeah. You know, I anyway, just pretend every time you so, call me, I have to tell me about your day. I just t- I pretend that there's dirt in the mic, so I just have to hold it. I just got to blow. I just got to blow for a second. Just, it is. And I know you. I just do it because you like it. That's all. My wife's like, why are you wrinkling your face up on the phone? I'm like, Jesse's blowing himself again. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, so 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 this is cool. You see these cool T-shirts all the time. I think Christopher is uh, very very creative, and I like his T-shirts. I'm I'm I, I'm probably going to buy one. But you can't buy the Rob Laws one off his um, Etsy page anymore. It's been taken down because uh, he's been getting threatening messages from Rob Laws. No way. Hold on. Well, like legally, yeah. like legally threatening messages, the, like take this down or we'll take yeah. you to court or like, like death threats. So he posted saying, in today's episode of what major Canadian corp is coming after me today, we have Loblaws saying my Roblaws shirt infringes on their IP. Unless their slogan is live life hungry and their logo is a gun and a grocery basket, I'm not sure it holds up. Anyway, Loblaws sucks. (laughs) Um, And if you want one, you have to now message me directly or go to the Toronto Dark Arts Market in uh, uh, 1279 Queen Street West. Um, so basically, yeah, he's um, Loblaws. I'm just making a big deal trying to shut him down and get rid of that T-shirt. They don't want people walking around in it. Well, hold which on. Means, I wanna, which means everyone, I, please go and buy one. Yes, agreed. But like at the same time, I kind of want to know what they're like. We we to be fair to Loblaws, which we shouldn't be because they're fucking horseshit. But to be fair, we didn't really cover what we like what you meant by threatening messages like was it just legalese like hey please stop that that's not us that's not what we represent we no they actually got better. etsy to remove that t-shirt from the platform oh shit yeah that's right you did say that didn't you yeah 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 so that's i don't is that legal like <laughs> but what I, what, but I think what is happening is it's getting a ton of news coverage and it's now falling under the streisland effect What's that? What's that? Uh, so the Streisand effect is is when an in, the unintended unintended consequence of attempts to hide um, a story instead backfires and just increases public awareness. <laughs> oh yes, I've seen so, this happen before. It, it comes from Barbara Streisand. I think they took photos of her house on a cliff, and she tried as much as she could to get the the, the pictures like removed from public access, and it just blew up more attention to them. That's funny. That's very funny. So it comes from that. So I think I think this is one of those. This is a Streisand moment for Rob Laws because if you search Rob Laws into Google, you get uh, pages and pages of news results now that's amazing oh god love the news they're just fucking starving little fucking raccoons they, they, they can't stop themselves whatever makes money whatever brings in ratings they don't give a shit <laughs> the news used to have meaning and integrity but now it's just i mean i love that they're doing this for this because this is in our favor but like they'll do for anything let's face it like anything at all but it's, it's good to, i like it. turn this to the news <laughs> So, so yeah. we, why are you angry at the news? This is about Loblaws, Jesse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the news sucks. About too, much chicu- <laughs> too much chicuterie has fucked your brain. <laughs> where so can anyway, we buy a if t-shirt? you want to go, where can we tell our uh, audience members to go and buy a T-shirt? I'll put it in the show notes so they go and go and buy one of their T-shirts. He did have one that was so bees, and they 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 he kind of tweaked it so it just said obey, which I kind of like. Oh, that's good. I need one of those. My my roommate works at an apartment in Sobeys, and he fucking hates it because they're just the worst, the worst. Yeah, you hear hey, it first. I know Sobeys are the worst. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, <laughs> they are. They're so horrible. anyway, there we go. There we go. That, that was the juicy bits. I, I just thought you should have some fun news from from Canada. Let's see see what you're missing out on. Thanks, man. man. I like these little juicy bits. We should do more of them. Yeah. What are you, What are you going to do next? Uh, I'm going to go back to the food tour people who have finished the food tour and drink some wine. And then I might go back to the hostel and uh, drink some wine. And uh, then I might go upstairs to my private room and uh, and drink some wine. And, nice. Uh, then I'm going to pass the fuck out. Yeah. Nice. Do, do you know what I'm Italy. I've got to go home. I've got to go home. Then I've got to take my son to basketball. Then I've got to wait in the car for an hour and a half. While Why can't you go basketball. in and watch him play basketball? He doesn't want me to. He just he says explicitly, like, I don't come and watch me practice. And I usually try and sneak in at the end just to kind of go in and be proud dad for 30 minutes, but he really doesn't <laughs> doesn't want me there. That's oh he's turning into it's a not, real oh. man. It's, <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want you to spend time with him. Oh. He's 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 moving off from the nest. He's rebelling against his parents. 
independence. Independence <laughs> at its finest. <laughs> soon, soon he'll be kicked out of the out of the the social group, and he'll have to fend for himself until he yep. uh, until he's old enough. <laughs> Anyway, cool. well, Reese, all right. Well, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy your. Okay, cool. And uh, I'll put every yeah call to action. Go and buy one of these cool T-shirts. Yes, please. Or if you don't want one for yourself, if you know someone who would buy it as a gift, uh, it it helps the co- the cause. Well, yeah, it's a cause. Let's call it a cause. Fuck it. It's the what's the name of the cause, Reese? I don't know. Like stop uh, supermarket monopoly fight dot com hat. Hashtag supermarket Ford. monopoly fight. Hashtag Couldn't be any clearer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks. I think I think we've said all we can, fun. Jesse. Okay. Right. Bye, yeah, everyone. We'll be back. Oh God. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Canadian politics is boring, juicy bits. Politics is boring, juicy bit.